Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. We have four stories for you this week. The first one is a new proposed rule that would bring back training in experimental aircraft. A uh, Delta plane lands without a nose gear. The United CEO is not too happy with the FAA. And then finally, the FAA has mandated monthly training for air traffic controllers. Let's get to it. Your first story this week is an NPRM notice of proposed rulemaking that would codify the ability to train in experimental limited and primary category aircraft, now provided that the aircraft is not being used for compensation or hire. Now, the NPRM is a big step forward uh, for those of you that are requiring a LODA right now, a Letter of Deviation Authority. Uh, the LODAs would not completely disappear at this stage, but as training that occurs for compensation or higher, you would still need to have those and, uh, and use a LODA in this case. So read over the NPRM, uh, let the FAA know this is a chance to leave comments uh, for those of you that are affected. Uh, this was a big story that we talked about last year, and uh, well, it's finally coming down to, uh, to finally some, some and proposed rules in the future. All right, for your second story this week, a Delta flight from Atlanta to Charlotte landed safely without the front gear. Uh, it was a Boeing 717. The pilots received a notification saying that the nose gear was unsafe. The pilots did a flyby of the tower, and then the towers saw that there was uh, the landing gear, the, the gear doors were open, but that uh, the gear was uh, stuck inside. So the pilots declared an emergency, briefed the passengers, and landed, landed without the gear down. Uh, the, luckily, there were no injuries for this accident. So I'm sure there'll be a story somewhere about uh, what happened in this case. Our third story is about a recent flight delay in the Northeast and what the CEO of United Airlines calls a failure from the FAA. Uh, more than 150,000 United customers were affected by the cancellation and the delays, uh, some of them due to weather, but Scott Kirby, the uh, United CEO, blames the FAA's lack of air traffic controllers. Uh, he wrote a letter to the employees of United and he says, I quote, the FAA reduced the arrival rate by 40% and the departure rates by 75%. Uh, he continues by saying, this is almost certainly a reflection of understaffing lower experience at the FAA. Uh, he also adds that while the current issues are linked to the FAA, it's not necessarily the current leadership's fault. Uh, he said it's been building for a long time before they were in charge. So let us know if you were affected by those uh, recent travel issues. Uh, at the end of the letter, he mentions that uh, he's proud of what the employees are doing at United and how they responded to these issues. Uh, there were a ton of social media posts about people getting stuck with uh, hours and hours of waiting for customer service. So uh, not, uh, not a cool thing for air travel in general. All right, our final story this week is the new training requirement for air traffic controllers. The goal of this monthly training is to increase ATC proficiency and also decrease surface incidents such as close calls and in runway incursions. Uh, in addition, the program will introduce another voluntary safety reporting system to help identify hazards and ensure corrective actions are taken. Uh, after a busy year of near misses and close calls, we're pretty glad to see this, and uh, I'm sure this is going to help with uh, promoting safety. I, at least I sure hope so. All right, that's it. You have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Mm -hmm.